Hi everyone. Hi everyone, how's it going? It's Vera Visions again. Hope you guys are doing really good. So today I'm gonna test out a makeup product using dry powder before applying foundation. So obviously the reason why I'll do this video is obviously to test it out and obviously see what happens um, with the product itself. Would I actually get a better result if I obviously test it out with the powder first before applying foundation or vice versa or would it just be the same? Anyways, I'm hoping to get a better result anyway. Because I have an oily and dry skin mixture of both, um, I'm hoping obviously this would be okay with my skin type powder before Foundation apparently you're supposed to get a better set in your face. It's supposed to hold the makeup a lot longer You use this technique is obviously to control the oil in your face um, I'm hoping obviously if I did the same I would feel the same sort of result. Let's get started It's really ashy <laughs> Really feels dry all, all over again obviously straight away. I can see that my skin's feeling it's feeling really, really dry. <laughs> For someone that has a combo of obviously a mixture of dry and oily skin, yeah, straight away I can feel my skin just feels dry. All right, so I'm gonna apply, of course, my Ingold Beautiful 58 foundation. It's actually really blended in well, guys. Um, it does actually feel, hmm, it just feels the same. I don't see the difference, to be honest, but it feels good with the skin so far. If anything, I think it actually gives you more of a coverage, if that makes sense. So I do, I do think it works. If you're looking for more of a coverage, I think this is actually a very good technique. Yeah, that actually really feels good guys, honestly. It really actually really feels great. Yeah. I actually like the feel of that. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and obviously put the concealer. Again, I'm using the MAC, the NC45, all right. And I'm gonna just apply it on me. It's staying more on my skin. It's like the makeup, it's holding it better because obviously you've got the, actually, the powdery as a base and I do find this easier. Um, it's just more coverage really. I really do think, yeah, it's not co much more coverage. And um, yeah, if you want that sort of thing, this is probably for you. But yeah, I think I'll definitely be trying this again, 100%. It's really, really, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Very good coverage. So I'm gonna go on obviously and add the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, yeah? So again, the same sort of procedure, but again, backwards sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's it.
absolutely love you, Jacqueline. This is the best. Thank you. Right guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so my, obviously this is the ending result of the look. I am super, super loving this look. Um, I really think it works, honestly. Looking at the way it is, how my makeup is literally just set on my face. It's just, it's so matte, it's perfect. It's just nice, I love it. I don't usually get this amount of coverage if I was to use a different technique where I do the contour first before the actual powder. So yes, I will definitely be trying this technique. If anything, this is probably what I'll be doing from now on. Believe it or not, I really do think it's perfect. It just, it's such a great coverage on your face. And I do believe, obviously, if you were to go out and obviously go out and take, you know, go out for a long period of time, I do believe it will last long because I will test it out as well, of course, and obviously let you guys know what I, obviously what the results were, but I can already sense it. It feels, it doesn't feel heavy on my face. It just feels perfectly. It's just sitting perfectly on my skin. And as you can see, it looks absolutely lovely. Um, and as I said, obviously, I'm not the sort of person that likes too much makeup, but I do believe this technique, it still gives you a nice coverage and it just sets in perfectly on the face. So yes, I recommend guys. Um, let me know what you think, obviously. If you have tested this method before and it worked out for you, or if it didn't work out for you, do comment down below. And um, yes, I'll be more than happy as well to read your comments and obviously questions or queries about this technique. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, there is obviously I will test out more of these products as well in different ways as well of applying foundation. It's all about experimenting again. There's no right or wrong way as long as you get a good result. So yes, that's pretty much it. Well, that's my motto anyway. So yes, um, so all the products I use are in the description box down below. So do check it out. Um, yes, and if you have any questions as well as I said, comment down below. And if you did like this video, give it a nice thumbs up. Um, yes, and also don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.